Hello everyone, I am Khalil Rahman from SIRC and I am here to give a brief introduction about our project, Human Activity Recognition Using Drone Videos. In our everyday life, surveillance has become a very important for secure life, which can be accomplished efficiently by drone videos. The drone videos feeded to our model is created by us. The model is used to classify 14 classes. The main motive of our project is to differentiate violent activities and normal activities. The model uses the coordinates of the key points extracted from the videos to classify the action. Its wide applications are police work, video categorization, biometrics, and human-computer interaction. Hi everyone, myself Pranti from SRKIT. We, for our project, we have collected the data set by our own. The data set uh, contains of videos. We have recorded videos of 14 different activities like throwing, pushing, punching, kicking, strangling, SOS, normal activities like standing, walking, sitting, etc. All these activities are recorded by multiple with multiple persons and also with a group, two different people, etc. We have trimmed the videos into one second each and we had made 60 frames of each second. All these 60 frames are labeled together with an action which is used for the key point abstraction for pose estimation. These are made into a CSV file which is used for further. Hi everyone, action. this is Ram Pound. I am from Bennett University. So in uh, we have after collecting the data set, we have moved for the pose estimation. In this pose estimation, we have uh, taken each second as a 60 frames in that 60 frames. So we have collected uh, each point uh, as a in the in a body. We have collected the joints as a point in that that those points coordinates has been saved in a uh, CSV file. In that CSV file, uh, we have uh, collected those X and Y coordinates of that joint. So uh, for th this in this CSV file, we have uh, keep in, kept some values as minus one where we couldn't find a joint uh, value. So in uh, pre-processing, we have uh, changed that minus one value as an uh, uh, another value which from the predicted values. So we have replaced that. So uh, so the accuracy may be increased in our uh, model. So after getting the CSV files, we have uh, went for a uh, random forest model. In that random forest model, we will be doing the uh, predicting more the values and the other stuff. So from my friend Anuj will say about those uh, random forest model. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is Anuj Rajodhya. In this project for human activity classification, we have used a random forest model using the key points as a feature for the model. Random forest or random decision forest are an ensemble learning method for classification, regression and other tasks that operates by constructing a multitude of decision trees at training time and outputting the class that is the mode of the classes or the mean prediction of individual trees. Here we have used the CSV file as the key point here. We have used the CSV file of the key points as the input for the model. This model basically divides the features into a decision tree and further classifies based on the median of all the decision trees. We have used boosting technique for classification by installing XGBoost technique. The model predicted satisfactory results and can be used in real time to solve the real life problems. In the end, I would like to thank Dr. K. Biswas and Anugraha sir for their support and a big thanks to Bennett University and Leading India.ai for giving us such an opportunity to develop our skills and contribute for the betterment of the society.